We are going to evaluate the integral of x power 7 minus 1 over natural law of x dx from 0 to 1 using double integrals. And we are going to first define a function i of t to be the integral of x power t minus 1 over natural law of x dx from 0 to 1. This is because this function is the generalization of the integral that we are going to evaluate. In particular, our integral is just i of 7. Now we are going to rewrite the integral into a double integral. And to do this, we first note that we can write x power t minus 1 as x power t minus x power 0. We can then view this as a function of y, that is x power y over natural law of x, evaluated at t and 0. So that now, t is actually the antiderivative of x power y with respect to y from 0 to t. We now have rewritten the integral as a double integral. The trick now is to apply Fubini's theorem to switch the order of integration. And since the region 0, 1 by 0, t that we are integrating over is just a rectangle, we don't really have to change any of the bounds of integration. We just have to switch the order of integration here. The great thing about switching the order of integration is that now we are integrating with respect to x in the inner integral rather than integrating with respect to y. The resulting antiderivative is just x power y plus 1 over y plus 1 by the power rule for integration and evaluated at 0 and 1 which is just 1 over y plus 1 and then integrating 1 over y plus 1 with respect to y is natural law of the absolute value of y plus 1. Evaluating at 0 and t will just give us natural law of absolute value of t plus 1. And this is the function i of t, which means i of 7 is just natural law of 8, when t is equal to 7. And if you enjoy watching this video, make sure to give it a like, and in fact, I have done a previous video where I evaluated the same integral using the overpower Feynman's method of integration. So click the video on the screen right now and I will see you in that video.